hello guys welcome to my channel for this is god's money if you are new here subscribe like and share please don't just watch my videos all that i'm asking from you is just give me a like god bless you please i want you to know that i am not a financial advisor in this video is for education purpose okay so this video is about the wealth transfer and as you can see in the title it's called why or the reason why the wealth transfer has delayed till today okay please I'm urging you don't skip this video if you are a person who has heard this word the wealth transfer you've watched videos countless prophecies concerning the wealth transfer then watch this video to the end and you understand something so that you will not fall victim you will not be part of the people that will not inherit the wealth transfer okay so, I will not waste your time. I will go straight forward. The Bible says that there is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new that is happening on this earth. The Bible says that what that has happened will happen again. So, things are in cycles, okay? So we all can see in the days of Moses, when Moses was about to be born, male child were killed. It happened also in the time of Jesus Christ. Okay? So we've seen war that has taken place year by year. We've seen World War One. We've seen World War Two. And we believe we are even seeing the World War Three, or it will eventually happen. And let me remind you, that is not the first time the World War has happened. It has happened centuries. Wars has happened centuries. And we are still seeing it. Okay? We've seen currencies that have been a world reserve currencies, they've collapsed, another will rise, they will collapse, another will rise. So, everything that is taking place is not the first time. Now, so if things happen which is not the first time, let's see what happened when God gave a prophecy like what we are having right now like the wealth transfer in the days of Moses. So God sent Moses. Guys, take your time listening to me. I'm coming to give you a vital information because God told me something that I have to tell you so that you will not lose your inheritance in this wealth transfer. Okay? So, Moses carried the promise of God to the Israelites that God said it should take them to the promised land where milk and honey is filled on the land. So God gave these people the prophecy. Moses battled a lot of battles to bring them out of the hands of Pharaoh. These people who they call themselves the children of God, which is you and I. After Moses bringing them, now they begin to complain. Now listen, the reason why this world transfer has delayed. And if we don't take care, some of us might not even live to see it. I'm telling you, be careful. Listen to me. This is a warning from God. Okay? Now, first, you see what God is showing me something that I need you all to know. Now, anytime God brings a deliverer, God brings his prophets out to deliver his message, which is prof promise. 
the first thing Satan begins to do is that he begins to use the same people who are meant to be blessed out of their promise to begin to fight the one that has been sent. They begin to say all sorts of things that will bring the spirit of that servant of God down so that he will begin to say something even even not out of his mouth, even in his heart that I've even regretted saying it. Now Satan gets authority to fight that thing. Number two also, anytime you begin to say things against the word of God, God began to get angry. Now Moses was supposed to use about 40 days to get to the land of Kenya. But because of what these people call themselves Christians, Israelite, children of God, did to Moses, even to the extent that because of them, Moses' life has to be cut short. I forbid because of anybody, because of his own selfishness, will make me say something. Moses spoke with God. He brought the promise of God to the children. Now look at, if it was today, you people will say Moses was not a man from God. I'm seeing a lot of video people are castigating men of God saying that they are not of God and do you think what you are saying, if it doesn't come to pass, will hold you. Meanwhile, when the prophet speaks, there's only one thing that you, the believer, you have to do. The Bible says that write the vision plain and let those that will see it run with it. What do you think God is saying? He's saying that let those that will see. See has two meanings. Not only you've seen the prophet writing it down, but you've also perceived it out of your spirit. So there is a confirmation within your spirit you see now you believe. After you believe, you have to run with it. Run with it meaning that prayers, spiritual warfare has to be done. Believers only are thinking of the money, the riches that are going to come. They will see, they will just jump and invest into it. They will not pray. Whilst the camp of darkness is fighting against the promises of God. So in the days of Moses, apart from God speaking to Moses and picking the Israelites, Satan was also using people like you and I to pursue them and kill them. What do you think is going to be different from today? They are human beings like you and I that have been used fighting a lot of projects. What they do is to buy and destroy. Do you think you are the only person on earth? There are people who does not believe in God. There are people who have sold their soul to the devil. Apart from that, there are other projects who fight other projects because they've heard prophecy about a certain project. Then they have to bring it down so that DS can shine. I believe so many of you who are into business, you've seen this in the business world. In the corporate world, there's a battle. Even for you to bring up a business, it's not easy. Other related businesses that are doing well, that they are seeing potential in you, will fight you. Will come and even physical to say they want to buy your business. If you don't do it, then they have to bring you down. It is happening in these crypto projects. Because of 40 days, out of castigating, out of saying bad things to the man of God, out of saying things that are not of God against the servant of God. It took them 40 days, 40 years for them to get to the promise of land. 
It said that Moses did not see what he said or he did not hear what he said. He heard it clearly. But because those people have got into a state, God needs to punish them. Now, let me show you something. All those people who received the prophecies, none was alive to enjoy the land. If we do not take care, well transfer community, nobody will be alive to receive this world transfer. It will be skipped for our generations to come and enjoy. And after they got to the land of Kenya, Joshua and his people, he sent three people to go and spy. And when they came back, they said, no, 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 we cannot. Ah, this one day, this is not the land. This, this people, we cannot. It took only Caleb. See that, oh, we are just like grasshoppers in their eyes. It's the same way that projects you have invested. It doesn't make sense. It looks foolish. But God said, invest. Now, no one, no prophet has forced anybody to invest into it. We are just sharing the mind of God. In the beginning, we tell you people that we are not financial advisors. And at the end of the day, you see those people who come and castigate. They don't even bless the ministry of God. They don't even give anything to this prophet. We don't even charge of saying these things. By the end of the day, you come and hold us. Without even you praying into the prophecy you've received. Without you even checking yourself if you are a child of God. Because the prophecies are for children of God. It's not for everybody. Now, let me tell you something. Be careful. Every coin that you have invested that you lost, there are people who gained. In the crypto business, people lose for people to gain. Because you were not able to sell your coin on top of the head of someone, you come and you castigate. There is a guy called TC. If you know him, you tell him he should be careful. How he judged prophets of God. Hey, you are not from God. Hey, you are not from God. Keep quiet. Judgment is of the Lord. If somebody is not of God, leave him to God to judge him. If you hear my prophecy, you think I'm not from God. Leave God to judge me. Because judgment is of the Lord. TC, be careful. Maybe because you think you are making videos. To get money from YouTube. But God can make you not to enjoy that money. Because you have lost some investment, you are here to judge a prophet. Be careful. When God is calling those people, you were not there. What if what they are saying is really from God? And you are here saying it's not from God. What if... Please, I want my community to be careful. Guys, for God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, so he will reap. In this world transfer, when you hear the prophecy after you've heard it, please pray into it. Don't just invest. And who should go and stand there and pray into that prophecy for you to make your money? God is revealing it so that we'll pray into it. And after we've prophesied it, you are not the only person on YouTube listening. There are demonic people listening and they will fight it. They will jump into this. Look at something. Anytime there will be a prophecy on a certain coin. Sorry. That will be the time you will see this coin going down. Let's rise up. Children of the Lord, let's rise up. Pray. Pray, pray for the things of the Lord to manifest. You don't have to be sleeping and getting up to go and check whether you've made millions or thousands of dollars to cash them and go and spend them. It's time to pray. 
Don't blame anyone if any prophecy didn't come to pass. Blame yourself. How many prayers did you invest into those prophecies? How many prayers? Ask yourself. And you are here castigating people. Please. This year, if you don't stop those things, your eye will see them. And you will not enjoy. I pray and I decree and I declare into the atmosphere. If I be a man of God, anybody that will say anything against any man of God, your eye will see this world transfer, but you will not take part of it. Men of God are hungry. They don't even have what to eat. They pray and God speak to them. They use their little. They have to buy data and make videos and tell you so that you will be blessed. And after then, what do you do to them? You come and insult them back. Please. If you want to be blessed this year, listen to me very careful. If you really want to be blessed, bless the poor. When you are walking on the streets, bless the poor. When you see people in need, give them little as you can. Give them. Number two, old age people, respect and bless them. Take care of the old age people. Number three, bless every man of God that blesses you. Whether in spirit or whatever. So far as you see a man of God in it, bless him if you have it. These are the people God is going to bless. These are the things this year when you do, you will be blessed. Take it from me as a prophet, I'm telling you. I'm not saying this so that you come and bless me. No, in your areas, in where you live, there are people who are suffering. There are men of God around you can bless. Even if you listen to me, you will not bless me. I'm okay. This channel is here to bless people. Please. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. If you want to bless my ministry, God bless you. You will see my wallet address in the description. Please. The world transfer will come on you will be blessed beyond the curse that is going on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray with thanksgiving. Stay blessed and invest safe. Bye for now.